So I feel like this game, appropriately titled Dream Logic, is probably my favorite liminal space or backrooms game I've ever played. At least out of all the ones that I played recently, because all of the other ones focus way too hard on the in-your-face horror and not so much on the subtle, uncanny valley terror that you should be feeling when you experience a liminal space in any capacity. And when I say that whole meme of like, wait till the end applies here, I really mean that. You'll see what I mean. The payoff from the atmospheric buildup from start to finish is insane. It's strangely good. Now, if you want to check it out for yourself, a link is down in the description. So let's try to absorb the atmosphere together. Sit with me from start to finish and see what you think. Really try to immerse yourself because I think it's beautiful. Anyway, let's do it. you decided to try your hand at my detective agency. I'm going to assign you to your first case, which is quite old because no one's been able to solve it yet. This case puzzled me for a long time because the descriptions of the disappearances are incredibly unrealistic. Two years ago, four people disappeared in one week. I say the descriptions are unrealistic because the missing man report says he went missing in a public swimming pool while he was drowning. Uh, the other three people also reportedly disappeared in public places. Either way, the case has been dismissed and the missing persons are probably dead. But who knows? You might find them. The necessary documents are in the box I sent you. I wish you the best of luck resolving this case. And if you find anything, be sure to contact me. Your friend, Harry. So is my character not familiar with the back rooms? See, Tanner was last seen at his workplace office. His colleagues say he stayed in the office longer than usual. He clipped, man. Davis was last seen at the shopping mall. She never returned to her car, which was parked in an underground garage. Okay, we're getting some foreshadowing on the levels we're going to be visiting. Uh, was last seen at the Greywood community pool. People who were there say Phillips was drowning, and when the lifeguards jumped into the pool, they did not find his body. I see in a Greywood Elementary School. According to Walter's students, she left the classroom without saying a word and did not return. Now that one sounds like maybe you should be looking for her. These other people, they're, they're go they gone, dude. They're not escaping. So we have voice acting. I love it. This already is great. This, am I in the back rooms already, dude? This looks weird. Hello? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Oh, man. Man. Okay, dude. I, I was expecting subtle fear here. This is a lot. I have to readjust myself now, dude. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I get to pick. Nope. Yeah, I don't like that. Jesus! Oh, Jesus Christ, did I die? Oh, it felt like death. Oh, I'm back in the clip. Come on! Oh. Here. Mm. This? Oh. Yo. 
Okay. I'm recently familiar with this because we played uh, that one game. Anymoyopolis. Anymoyopolis? Is that how you say that? Am I going to the locker rooms? Is that where we're going now? Oh, Jesus. All right. This is utterly beautiful. Ooh, a note. What? May 2nd, 1985. We have carried out exit tests, generating many different options. Theoretically, the exit should merge with reality, but none of the tests we have run have shown positive results. There are many other design errors like ceiling leakage. We will need more time to fix these problems to avoid people falling in. What? At least things aren't changing. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh, little pool, no diving. <gasps> but it's so deep, I wanna dive. God, this says dive, I'm going in. Oh boy. Oh, that was really stupid. What do I know, right? That's weird looking. There could be like, you know, this underneath pools. I mean, there has to be some system where the water's being filtered. Well then, I'm, oh, physics, huh? You enjoy some, oh wait, I'm dumb. Can I just jump in? Guess I have to build it up, huh? Yeah, I thought I saw another one. Don't rush now. No need to rush, right? Okay, jump on, jump on. Yes! <laughs> I am genius. You know what's weird is that, like, clearly I'm dreaming, or at least my character's probably thinking that they're dreaming. It's just there's no reaction about it. Like, clearly water should be falling at the bottom of that. Where am I going? Oh! Oh! Water! Let me out! God damn it, I hate 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 it. No, 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 okay. no no shot that i'm gonna be able to retrace my steps i'm just saying where i'm where i am now is where i am i can only go forward there is no going back wait did i see this before dude this game is beautiful is this building is this unreal it's got to be unreal hello man give me a flashlight please Hey, if I crouch, I make no noise in the water. So I feel like I'm being set up with this expectation that I'm actually gonna be solving these cases, right? Because otherwise I wouldn't be a detective looking into these cases. I mean, it would be convenient to be that, to be shown all of these stories and it would kind of make sense to show all of them. But I'm saying, I feel like I'm being set up like I'm going to potentially find information about these people. Like maybe I'm like one of those like Sherlock Holmes, de you know, detectives that can like transport yourself. What the fuck? Wait, did I loop completely? Mm. Jesus, Jesus. Maybe I shouldn't be running. Oh God. Dude, the atmosphere in this game is going to kill me. Oh. God, dude, I was listening really hard because I thought that the the melody stopped and I thought that was signifying something back here. Oh, that was tricky. Okay. Hey, but mm, mm. soak up the atmosphere, dude. Soak it up. Soak it up. One at a time. One at a time. You can only go forward, can't go back. All right, yellow light is never a good thing in these parts, but I can assume something's different. Ooh, what is diving boards? Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. These are massive. I have a very like glamorous jump. I'm not getting in that water. You're insane. Hello, it's -a me. 
I do like how they let you do it though. It seems like this. Oh, bathrooms. What a stri. Mm, what the hell? It's an infinity pool. I could fall. Ah! Ah! I don't know what that is. Get out. What? Hey, your wall. Hey, pool guy, your wall's missing. What is this? What was the guy's name? Phillips? Something Phillips? <gasps> Puzzle solving? I don't think so. Not in my back rooms. I can't get in that door. I probably have to solve the puzzle. Where does this go? Oh, I get to flush myself, huh? All right, let's figure this out. I guess these are corners. Everything just needs to be like so, maybe? Is that it? Did I do it? <gasps> oh. I don't know what I, I think this one was turned the wrong way. Hello? Yep, yeah, we're gonna flush. Jay, flush me. It's like a, it's an actual little particles all forming one big old cloud. Am I gonna fall when the song's over? I don't wanna leave. No, I don't. Oh, come on, I don't wanna leave. Oh, I died. Oh, it makes sense. I better pack it up. Not a good detective, huh? Aha! Why is this room my nexus? Do I have, can I just sit in here? Go to sleep. Will I wake up somewhere different? Okay, the atmosphere has changed. I've done enough of these uh, parking lot ones. I am a little terrified. I gotta be honest. A little booth. Let's go to the booth. As one would do, the developer definitely expects me to do so. Jesus Christ, please have a flashlight in here. I could very much use one. Keys from Dr. Roberts, President Myers, June 15th, 1985, Project Backrooms. We have successfully created a portal to reality, but strange things happen to life. Our experiments show that a person going through the portal goes into a short-term coma, waking up without feeling his body for about six hours. <laughs> what a note to just leave about. What is that? Light. Horrible paint job. It's a horrible paint job. This light's out. Hello. Someone stole the fluorescent. Ah, there's a door. I'm just going to assume I'm not supposed to go there. Even though I probably am. Oh my god, man. I gotta tell you right now, this game is well developed. Insanely well developed, but on top of that, the atmosphere and the music, you're unbelievable. You are a god to me. I hope you understand that. Oh, Jesus, I have to go in that door, don't I? I'm gonna go over here. Because this was different. Maybe this leads down to the door. Hello? Hello, hello. Oh, there's a door. What? Oh, oh my god. Try the door. Oh, thank fuck. Damn it. Okay, dude. You got me. You got me. I get it. 
I get it. Oh, fuck, I get it. God, you, if, if you guys could see my legs right now, just kicking about, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is a tiny toy car, dude. <gasps> <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. Yeah, someone's a fan of Dr. Disrespect. I appreciate it, you know? Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, man. Oh, dude. Ah! Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. The best. Oh! Uh oh, spin it out! Sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is definitely a vibe, but I'm a little unsure about what it means. What does it all mean? So we had the clouds. We went into the parking lot. Oh Jesus! All right. So once I complete a terrifying room, I get rewarded with something positive. First, ooh. Ah. It's not so bad. The ambience indicates to me, you know, it, that it's a little bit more inviting. A little bit more relaxed, you know? As you should feel in a school of endless lockers. Here's a hallway I don't want to go down. Ooh. Ooh, more keys. What am I? What are these keys for? Project Backrooms, June 22nd. In view of the results and the quality of development of this project, I am ordering its immediate termination. Dispose of all evidence and the terms of the confidentiality agreement are breached. You and all staff who have worked on this project will be sentenced to prison. So the government's going to. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm going upstairs something very ominous about the bending of that music just the slight bending yep that oh see now i shouldn't be worried right because again there's like no threats this isn't a threat based game this is entirely an atmosphere soaking oh i found the door what the hell is this is this part of the school? This is something out of Poppy Playtime. Oh, it's a puzzle. Tetris puzzle, maybe? Those curtains don't look right, dude. Something is not right about this. All right. What's the puzzle? Do I need to make, uh... Hey! What? Huh? Okay, so remove this. Oh, wait, what? Then blue? Yes. Oh, I see. I see. Yes, I see. Make the... Got it! Oh, this is like a, like a birthday party thing. What did the... Oh, shit. That is... That creeps me out thinking back. You know what this remind that remind me of? I want to say this because I'm gonna forget to ever talk about it in my life. When I was younger, I used to go out outside late at night with my friend, and we would just kind of fuck around on like a golf course or whatever, and just kick shit around, you know, kid stuff. And we used to always bring our camera, and so there was this particular narrow path in the woods because like in the back of this neighborhood there was the woods that you can walk around in and it's, it kind of loops around the whole neighborhood but just in the back part so it's like a walking trail right anyway there's this narrow part like I had this crazy thought because we would film it and it was so claustrophobic and narrow we would film the whole way walking down that specific path and then we would get home and we would watch it back because we convinced each other that eventually we were going to see that on both sides of this trail are a bunch of people standing there hand to hand right next to each other with their heads bowed down all while we're walking on this trail 
We convinced ourselves that one day it was going to happen. I don't, neither of us believed in ghosts or anything like that. It was just this abstract fear that kind of took over. Like, ooh, what if? I don't know how to explain that. that. That's what I just had right now. It's like, I didn't realize that this had opened up directly behind me and I was ready to, oh my God, it closed. Oh my God, it closed. <laughs> there really is no going back, huh? Anyway, oh. Okay. Also, the music and ambience stopped. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <sighs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just be where I need you to be. Please. This is it. Oh, God. This is it. Why is it the last one that I try? Huh? Why is that? song I got this <laughs> wait boom 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 <gasps> boom 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 trying to got it is that it no that was there right? <laughs> Backrooms monster do the thing? Was it the backrooms monster? Is it the Was that the <laughs> Oh man? Did I do it right? Who, which one of these people, which one of these missing persons went into the back rooms? These back rooms, huh? Jesus Christ, man. What is that? Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. I don't care. I don't even want to explore. I think I've done with the back rooms, so... If the arrows are going to point me in the right direction, I'm just going to go, dude. I don't care. I don't... Get me out. Hi, yeah. Was that where I was? Ah! Ah, God, God, I hit it, I hit it. No, no, no. I'm not turning around. I'm not turning around. I know exactly. Okay. Okay. Jeez, I'm gonna blow my fucking voice out, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have. Oh Jesus, where am I going? Please no. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Obviously, this is where I'm supposed. No, no, no. Is this another jump? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh my God! What is it? Stop! Stop! Jesus! Okay, it's the guy. Don't even worry. He cannot catch you, or the game can't progress. Right? Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> hmm? Oh, did I wake up from my coma? I'm in a grave. Where's my bell? I need to be able to ring the bell. I'm still alive in here. You could make some noise, dude. It's okay. You can make some noise. No, no, Matas Onitis. I am so sorry if I butchered that. Your music and audio understanding is incredible, and I envy you. And I would pay to have you teach me about anything. Holy shit, though. That I, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like this was the best backrooms game, backrooms related game I have ever played. I enjoyed most of the Backrooms games, especially the multiplayer ones. But this one, oh my god, dude. The the pacing, the music, the ambience, the atmosphere, and the... Sp god, the pacing was so good. It built up to those moments. It's not overwhelming, right? It's not like monster chase after monster chase after monster chase. It's not until the very end that you see anything of a threat. Which, honestly, I went in not... I, I, I mean, I went in knowing that there was supposed to be something, but I didn't realize that it was going to be so absent for most of it until the end. And I think that was an excellent choice. Anyway, this was amazing. By the way, I noticed when I hit play, oh, I can level select. Look at that. Do you guys want to go in the clouds again? This is my favorite. This is unbelievable. Not something at all that I expected to experience in this kind of game. What level of the back rooms is this, you know? Oh my lord. Yeah, I love the way they did this. These clouds are unreal. Because it's in the Unreal Engine, get it? <laughs> what if I go low? Oh my god. Dude, this is... It's unreal. These are all individual and casting shadows on each other. I think that's the most convincing thing is that they're like all of its casting shadows from the sun. Fuck, man. Anyway, that's it. We beat it. Check it out for yourself. See if you can discover some other things. I did not explore the back rooms part of that at all. So it might be might be something you guys can do. Link is down below. It's a very cheap game. Do support the developer because this is insane and the odd the understanding of audio that this uh, developer has is, is not so props all around anyway thanks for watching guys i love you have a good night